Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Hi, deer hunting will be coming up here in, well, two months. Winter time is going to be coming up, and I want to get this in. Like, we'll start it, but it won't idle, and it's been that way for well over a year, so I don't use it that much because it's so frustrating. Like, even when you're plowing, you'll plow the snow, and then when you hit the bank and you, you know, slow down, it stops. So yesterday, when I was coming back from the lumber yard, there's a place right in town here that fixes these. So I stopped in just to see how busy they are. I figure if I get it in now, everybody's going to be bringing in their four-wheelers for, you know, getting ready for deer hunting and winter. So if I get it in now, I do have the new cable for it. I think it's the actual throttle cable. And But he said with the electronic fuel injection, it could be something else. So either way, I'm going to bring it in. Have them go through it, make sure everything is good before winter, and beat the brush of everybody else. I've been continuing to work on this project. If you guys are watching this series, yesterday I hardly got anything done because of the rain. We got almost an inch and a quarter of rain. And the sun would come out and then I'd pop out here and then pretty soon you'd hear the thunder coming and <laughs> another downpour. And right now it's six more days until they come, they're supposed to come anyway, and install the outdoor wood boiler. And they're supposed to come out and run all the lines prior to that, do all the excavation and stuff. So there are some things that I need to do so they have room to move around, like in the workshop and the back part of the workshop, because the front workshop is going to get an air handler and the back part of the workshop is going to get a regular furnace. And actually they brought those up from Wisconsin and they're somewhere in Duluth, which is a half hour from here, and I have to pick those up in the next couple of days. So they'll have something to hook up to. So I thought, you know, I better start getting some of this stuff done, or I'm gonna be, you know, pulling an all-nighter before they show up the next day. I'm gonna have the air handler that's gonna go into the, the workshop here, and up in that corner, just to the right of the window, below those shelves. So I'm going to have to, I'm not going to be cleaning all this up until I get a dumpster out here because no reason to move it twice, pick it up twice. But some of it I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to move this at least over to the side so they have a, you know, somewhere to walk in here to set that thing. And then that back part over here, which is where I have all of the wood that I have peeled in the past that was at the hobby farmhouse, I need to get this out of here because I want a furnace put in right on the other side of that partial wall because once we get in here uh, then I'm going to take out most of this wall over here that goes across and open it up into the whole workshop so that furnace will heat the whole thing. I just got a lot of stuff to do. I mean there's just no way they're going to be able to get in there. I don't even want to do it. I don't even want to get in there. Well, what I was doing today changed. I didn't realize that they were going to be digging the lines in today. But there it is, the wood boiler system. These people are just the nicest people ever. A joy to talk to.
Well, today I went and picked up the two furnaces. One is for the back part of the workshop. The other one is for in the new guest house. Went out for lunch with Melissa, came back here, and then I was working back on the guest house. But right now I want to jump on the mower. I still haven't got a belt for the newer, bigger mower. I'm going to have to use the old one, but I need to get some of this yard mowed in the front because it's been two weeks. Good morning everybody. This morning I'm out here working in the back part of the workshop. Uh, I need to get this cleaned out like I talked about before because there's a furnace going in here and they have to run lines from the furnace to the air handler that's going in the front part of the workshop. And this cabinet was sitting on top of this table and these two underneath so I thought you know what I'm just going to throw them up on the wall. If Melissa wants me to move them later I can but at least they're out of my way and uh, more than likely they'll just stay right there, but we'll see. I would have the camera farther back right now, but as you can see, there's nowhere to move it. <laughs> so I'm trying to get all this crap out of here. I, this is the only part I need cleaned out. I'm going to get the other part of the workshop done where the snowmobiles are, get that all cleaned out uh, eventually. But right now, I'm just trying to stay ahead of the people that will be coming in to finish the wood boiler installation. I will get all this lumber taken out of here, the snowmobiles, uh, the one snowmobile, I'm going to sell that one on the right, keep the one on the left, I don't know, might even sell that one and get a different one eventually, but there isn't a whole lot of stuff in here, it's just where to put it, and once we start now, you know, last year moving from the hobby farm house, this year from the Louisiana house, everything is full, and once like the guest house gets done so furniture from inside that front garage can go into the guest house that'll free up some room and then we can look through things and throw stuff out sell stuff whatever we're gonna do but this area here I want to get cleaned out before winter because Melissa now she has those pottery wheels and she's already went through the beginning classes intermediate classes and now this week she starts the expert classes and she really enjoys doing that this will be a nice area for her to do it and some of her other hobby stuff that's inside the house can come out here too which will free up more space in there so yeah I'd say another year and we'll probably have things under control but <laughs> right now I'm just trying to get enough stuff under control so that uh, winter time can get here and everything is in its proper place for the long hard freeze I've been out here for quite a while this morning moving stuff out of here once I get this doors on and get this other camera on and run in and have lunch. And then I'll come back out here. I need to go down the basement. I've got three days until they're going to... Well, today is Sunday. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday they're going to come and finish the boiler installation. So I want to move some stuff around in the basement so they can get around better. And Not really much to do down there. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty good, but... I'm looking forward to that dumpster coming so that, uh, get that concrete out of that workshop up front. And also, uh, 
some place to put some of the junk that's back here that I don't need. And then I hope to get in here this winter again with the jackhammer and jackhammer the curves that are back here. Definitely need some adjustment if that's the place they finally go, but at least they're off the floor and on the wall And then I can play around with it later gonna run in and have some lunch I've got all of the boards that I have milled myself with my chainsaw mill in here and a bunch of the smaller stuff that my dad might use or whatever for log furniture although now he uses diamond willow a lot which he has some that's inside that's already peeled ah this will be good for right now I've still got this whole side here to fill all the way up with firewood shouldn't have to burn quite as much firewood in the workshop this year with the wood boiler going I actually wouldn't have to burn any but I don't want to have it going full blast in there all the time I'd rather keep it around 40 with the boiler and then uh, start up the wood stove when we're using it out here and my dad you know like when he makes something and glues it or stains it we'll hang it over by the fire so it dries quicker so I'm glad this part is done here and now back here I've got the bigger logs up on top which haven't really been used much at all lately, but eventually if I have time, I do have some stuff I want to do. Stacked up this stuff neater right here, and then in front there I'll put some kickers on the ground, and then inside I can bring some of that lumber out. And I'm just going to tarp all this for over the winter this time. Until I have a covered place to put it, which I don't right now. And you know, this kind of stuff sticks around forever, and then when you do need it, you're glad you have it, but until then it just takes up space. This is just badly stacked right here. There isn't a whole lot here. There's some nice cedar 2x6s down there. But anyway, I'll get this stacked up out there. I think I'm going to build a uh, like an island like we did in the kitchen in the farmhouse for in the guest house. But I would use this stuff like I did for the top on the uh, uh, freeze dryer table. So I'm going to make sure that, that some of this is available to easy get at. I mean, you know, you look at it now, it's like, oh, that's easy. As soon as there's two or three feet of snow on the ground, it becomes almost impossible to get in there unless you're really wanting to use up a day. Now I'll get this stuff. This is more of the canopies and stuff that just got tossed in here. I've got some cots up there that were bought in case people uh, were going to stay at the, for the party. I'll put that up in the front garage. 
almost got it ready. I'm gonna leave this table in here. I'll give some, I've got two other bags of decoys I already took out. I'll move those out of here for now. All my hunting stuff goes up in that front garage as soon as we have room back up in that front garage. And once that dumpster gets here in two days, those pieces of sheetrock can go in there. This junk can go in there. This room here, uh, this wall here will be, I think I'm going to make this a little, I don't know if I can make it a little bigger or not. I don't know if I want to cover up part of that window. So when I put the new one in, I totally have to move it. Anyway, she wants this a separate room for the kilns because behind that sheetrock, remember, is that great big fan? Like, huge fan that... I mean, when I do that, I can feel the air at my back pulling out of this room and there's even sheetrock against it. She wants that in there because that room needs to be vented. Get the cement curb out of here. Tear a bunch of this wall out of here. That's yeah, gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be a big area. And then more than likely, I'm gonna you know, clean up the ceiling some. I'll have to put some more metal up here eventually. And then maybe when I blow the ceiling in the guest house, I'll go up here and blow the ceiling above the workshop and this back part of the workshop. If I had like R44 up there, this place, it wouldn't take much to heat it at all. I haven't started my black truck in over a month. You really need to keep these things moving. You know what they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. I think I'm going to start this up and let it run for a while. I'm getting there. Feels good to sit down. <laughs> Going through these clamps, make sure they all still work. Well, I made today's goal. I did not think it would take me until almost seven o'clock at night, but man, I have just been pushing it the last week, week and a half. I can feel it. I wanted to get in here and mow the garden in between the bales and everything, but I don't have it in me tonight. Um, Melissa's been in there making raspberry pineapple jam. The beans are, there's a bunch of them ready to go. By next weekend, it's gonna be full-blown canning beans. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching. 
Sunday night right now. Tuesday the dumpster shows up. All this can get in the dumpster as much as I can fit. And all that concrete out of the workshop. And Wednesday they'll be here to put the whatever it's called in the furnaces and in the water heaters and just get everything all hooked up so that all we have to do is fire up the stove and flip the switch. I will see you guys on the next video.